वेलकम टू नागालैंड टीवी आज हम आने दे डोंबोस को आइडा सेंटर दे सिक्स ग्रेजुएशन दे कम फाउंडेशन दे नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस एंड रिसर्च तहान ब्रा लोया से 2019 ला पेच कन तो आई वी तुला उपोडे मोहन खबर सो Uh, I am very happy to get this question. Uh, we have nearly 280 students uh, passed out of the institute, and each batch we have got 50. But the first few batches we had only 45 each, and uh, most of them are working in the government sector and also private sector. And uh, as we have already shown, nearly 70 percent people are already in the working sector. This is a professional course and uh, I sincerely thank the government of Nagaland and uh, they are merged with a number of uh, uh, government projects. Uh, most of them are working as a contractual basis but they are reasonably paid by the government. Then other sector they are working in the NGOs and uh, private sector. Some of them started their own initiative. We called uh, uh, professional progressive circle. Uh, they are trained to start their own NGOs uh, initiative in the second semester on this. So third and fourth semester they put into practice and uh, experiment it in the institute and they go and uh, launch it in the villages where they are coming from. Um, yeah, that is a mandatory for every academic institutions. Uh, we have a job placement cell and uh, Ms. Temsuyala is in charge of that and uh, we have a, a placement. Uh, most of them are placed in Nagaland and Northeast level and maybe few of them working in the international projects uh, and um, peace related projects. A few of them in the place in the international communities, New Zealand and Australia. Yeah. This is one of the greatest challenges that uh, we all face. Uh, our motto is to excel in knowledge and service and um, the whole syllabus and also the programs and uh, activities are based on aiming at that excelling in knowledge and service. But uh, when they come we do a kind of evaluation uh, how they are uh, competent in uh, 10 areas and we also do the evaluation at the end by the faculty and the management how they are improved. And uh, this course is primarily mentoring and uh, one is equal to 12 students. Uh, these 12 students are always with the faculty member and uh, they are expected to groom them professionally, knowledge level, skill level, attitude level, which is very important today in the society. Uh, even if they have skills and knowledge, if they don't have right attitude, uh, they will find very difficult to work with the uh, organizations and also work as a team. So we are striving our best uh, to empower them, capacitate them to be uh, excelling in, the, in knowledge as well as in the uh, service, wherever they are. Uh, I like that question. That was, uh, we, though we have been uh, grouping them from the second semester onwards in the name of uh, progressive, uh, professional progressive circle, uh, as of now, eight to nine uh, students have started their own initiatives like orphanages, environmental uh, protection and uh, promoting environment. That is, uh, then uh, we also have got a charitable organization initiated by the students themselves. But by and large, uh, they are all working in the government sector as well as in the uh, NGO sector. Um, this is the first institute, uh, Northeast Institute of Social Sciences and Research is the first institute under Nagaland University to uh, grant MSW, Master of Social Work degrees. And this is unique institute where uh, national level or international level, I should say, we are the uh, initiator for peace and conflict transformation studies in MSW. And uh, this is uh, state-based, region-based, and that is one of the unique thing. And we are very uh, competent faculty members. We have uh, international uh, faculty members, and the state level, the institution level, we have got lot of networking in order to promote peace and conflict transformations uh, program in the institute. We have got a diploma program in the same, 
Uh, and this similar to other courses, MSW in a community development, we have got a diploma and certificate program. Uh, we also are planning to start a uh, diploma program in youth development, uh, both diploma and certificate program, besides master's degree program. Uh, why we need to promote in the context of Northeast India, we need many peace builders, uh, persons who have got a sound theories and practicum. And unless we have this practicum as well as the content base or the theory based, uh, when it comes to the practical level, uh, our people are stuck. Uh, how, how to proceed from A to B, B to C, C to D. So uh, we, are, uh, uh, we are trying to educate or academically empower them how to uh, understand the international conflict regional conflict and even the state conflict and apply to the theories and uh, practical level they uh, go to the villages and NGOs and especially we have got another sub wing called the peace channel uh, they most of them uh, get specialized uh, in that uh, organization are uh, this uh, those who are getting specialized in youth development they will go to different organization church based and also NGO based organization community development they get into the rural setting villages to capacitate and empower the people uh, to get developed. The whole concept of social work is getting evolved in Nagaland and uh, in the region. So it is only a process. We are started and we are going to have that uh, result maybe another 10 to 15 years. Uh, this institute will be spearheading to promote peace builders uh, who are sound in theory and practicum. We are promoting youth workers uh, who are sound in practicum and theory, then similar with the uh, community organization and community development. I feel privileged uh, to be the top, uh, to be in the top position and uh, so I thank God for always being, um, always helping me to concentrate and uh, do my best and also I thank all my mates for always encouraging me, believing in me. Uh, when I, in these two years, uh, I felt like that my mates had more confidence in me, believed in me more than I believed in myself and I am really thankful to them. Uh, this n Coming to Nizer, um, the environment was really different from uh, college days. Here the faculty, they uh, act as our friend and not in, only in the studio, but when we meet outside, uh, they talk to us like uh, friends and encourage us every time. And uh, what uh, my faculty did, uh, did for me was, when I came to this institute, uh, what I lacked was uh, self-confidence. But every moment, every in every semester, they gave me opportunity to explore, and that helped me in uh, build, mold, molding up, building up my confidence. For now. Um, Oh, okay. no, no. Uh, might be uh, in two, three years I might go for further studies. But for now, I want to uh, do some, uh, have some experience in work. So I'll be going through some interview and stuff. And also, uh, bo both me and my friend we are planning for some work. So if it works out, then about Nizer, I would say that it provides a. a completely different situation, opportunity for learning, uh, not only in terms of theoretical, but also uh, in terms of practical. Um, what, we ha what we learn in classroom, we have to uh, imply it practically, and that is uh, what molds a person. Um, many of us, uh, when we came here, we, um, even we had uh, some, uh, we, our own opinions, we, we didn't share, we just kept it to ourselves, but after uh, experiencing two years of uh, studying in Nizer, uh, we I feel that most of us now we are uh, confident enough to share our opinion, to uh, voice out uh, for what uh, for the wrong things, and I think that Nizer is uh, a place where you find yourself uh, through the opportunities that you get, and you become a better person than uh, what you were. If I talk about my college days, um, when I chose this MSW, there were people who were against it, told me that you should go for uh, MA English because I was from the uh, literature department. But 
this MSW was um, like a uh, call for me from uh, in a spiritual way, and uh, from when I was in BA, uh, I always had that uh, feeling, that thought in me that even if I work, uh, I. I want to be a someone who can uh, help society not only not only uh, financially but through my service. Uh, so uh, through MSW, I would say the MSW is a um, a course um, where uh, you can be a voice for the voiceless and also um, you can uh, go into the uh, the areas where people are unaware of and also help the people in both financially, physically and emotionally as well. And also I encourage my young, uh, I say friends, um, to take, seek every, uh, to t seize every opportunity that they get to explore themselves, to build themselves and uh, make use of every facility that the college provides to uh, be the better, uh, be the better person. Uh, I feel very privileged, uh, but I just feel that uh, I don't feel much deserved because uh, this is just a social work profession and uh, everyone is unique in our own way. So, but uh, as they uh, award me with this, I just uh, feel privileged and also I'll try to um, work it harder to, for the society. First of all, what I would like to say is uh, the first important thing is uh, to be selfless. So like uh, we have to care for ourselves, but also we have to have concern for others. What, whatever people do or whatever they try to approach, uh, we have to be, we have tried, uh, we try to approach them and uh, help out in every possible way. It's not about uh, supporting them through only financially. It, we are all students, we cannot support them financially, but uh, it's very important that we can uh, help with our intellectual and also emotional. So uh, with that, uh, they, they can build themselves up. And also, um, the other thing is uh, try to be try to engage as much of, as possible when opportunity comes. So um, opportunities, uh, we feel at many times we feel that uh, let's give chance to the next person, but uh, we, let's not wait for that. If if it is uh, fitting us with us, we can go for it. And uh, it's very good to explore and experience because we are, without exploring, we we don't get any experience. So. I just uh, w give my wishes and regards that they will also be selfless and also try to explore as much as possible. That's, that's, all, that's the advice I would like to give. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television set as well. For the Mapro viewers, we are on channel number 10 in Global Chapter. And for Kohima and Mokokchung viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.